Welcome to the Power of Ritual. I would say that this particular ritual has been three years in the making and it is a powerful technology that you get to use in your own life as you get off the computer and start communing with the sacred laws of the universe through the elements of nature and discover how the indigenous and these ancient practices that live on in these indigenous communities have used ritual for thousands and thousands of years to create change, to close cycles, to open cycles, and to step into new eras of their life and to let go of things that no longer serve them and their tribe. For me, after releasing a 10 year relationship three years ago, I went through a really deep letting go process. It was a grieving and a deep death process of letting go of not only a man that I loved deeply, but also a whole life that I had from the homes that we had, the cars that I had, to the objects, my wardrobe, a country that I lived in, a family that I was deeply close to every day of my life, to stepping into something totally new. And that process required a lot of deep inner work. Luckily, I am equipped with a lot of inward tools. I teach emotional freedom technique and a lot of somatic practices. So I had a lot of support for the inward work. And after moving to Mexico, I started to discover the power of ritual and working with the elements and how the inward practices, the somatic practices are really amazing for going in and creating that inward transformation in our life that then ripples into the outer world. But how powerful it is to work with ritual, which is actually working with the outer universe. You're working with the elements and the intelligence of nature to listen and commune with you and your intelligence that wants to come through in the transformation. So in this ritual, you're going to learn a lot about working with fire and fire is the energy of the element of transformation. And so we let go of our intentions. We let go and we release into the fire. We also work with the power of water to bring new life, to nourish, to bring forth the flow and the current of new things to come. We also bring in the power of ether, the miracle of the element of air, of wind. And as we work with that element of air and wind, we work with the elements of the unseen dimensions as well. And we work with the elements of the earth, the foundation, the stability, the safety that holds us. So these will be the elements that you'll be working with in this ritual and know that as you work with them, you are also calling in the intelligence of these intentions that come through these sacred spirits to support you in your larger intention to release and move on in your life. I love working with these practices because they are a deep complement to the inner process that I do in my own journey and the tapping that I teach. So if you're doing a process around letting go, perhaps you're letting go of a relationship, you're letting go of a death of a loved one, you're letting go of a resentment baggage that you've been holding for a while or something that no longer serves you. This ritual will be a powerful process to really commune with the outer world and to call in these intentions powerfully to create the transformation that you know you are ready for. Thank you for joining me in this. There'll be new content coming out around this. So if you wanted to do a masterclass with me around breaking free, we will have one of those coming up shortly. So wherever you are in your journey, whatever layer you're peeling off, know that I'm here with you, reminding you of what is possible and what is on the other side of the death is a beautiful new life, is a new birth.